Hey guys, thanks for clicking. Today we're gonna to talk about my heart attack. Yeah, so five years ago, five years ago to the day, uh, I went for a run, I had a blueberry smoothie, uh, was on a conference call, and I was feeling weird. Not, uh, no pain, I was just feeling really tired and really just dizzy and stuff like that. So it wasn't, it wasn't feeling right. So I laid down and like looking on my phone, trying to figure out what the heck is going on right now. Maybe I overexerted myself. Maybe my blood sugar is low. Didn't know. Uh, after a few minutes, you know, I checked my Fitbit and I noticed that my heart rate was going from like 135 to 52, back to 135. And like, that seems really odd. So I had a friend of mine who was renting a room in my house and I had him drive me over to the hospital just to check it out because, you know, this was just too weird. I wasn't feeling right. Something was definitely wrong. So I get to the hospital and uh, I'm at the front desk or the ER and the lady's like, hey, are you having any chest pains? I'm like, no, but I mean, it feels like there might be like a cat sitting on my chest. It was a, a light pressure, nothing major. Uh, so they took me to the ER and in the ER, I hear code blue, code blue. And it was not busy in the ER. I think I was the only person there. And I'm like, code blue, is that for me? And the doctor goes, yeah, you're having a heart attack. And I said, no, you're lying to me. What really is going on? And he's like, no, sir, you're really having a heart attack. Uh, so they went out, took me upstairs, and I got two stents put in. And it was a very exciting and strange uh, whole thing. Now, again, that was five years ago today. And, and may I ask, okay, well, so why are you bringing it up? Because number one, um, that was the day that really changed the rest of my life. And that was the day that I ended up saying, you know what, I need to figure out what I really think is important and make sure I change my priorities around. I was working way too much. Um, I wasn't having much of a social life. I really wanted to be a dad and it didn't look like I was going down that path. And that's kind of where I started thinking about becoming a foster parent and adopting a child. So you may be wondering why I'm talking to you about this. And there's a couple things is number one, always be careful and check on yourself. Um, don't, you know, there's a common saying that I've heard in rehab is don't die of doubt, especially guys. Uh, I know we're really bad at going to see a doctor. So if you're feeling like something's wrong, get yourself checked out. Uh, don't die of doubt. Number two reason is, that was the day that really changed my life. I made huge changes, said, hey, what are my priorities and what should they be? Uh, and one of the things that I really wanted to do was become a dad. So I was started thinking about, okay, how can I become a dad? Can I do it? Should I go through a surrogacy program? Can I find a woman and, you know, the right girl to get married and get that all done? Uh, that wasn't one thing that I was really, really looking for, but, you know, I wanted to think about what are the options. Um, with the surrogacy, I was thinking about adoption and uh, and also foster care. So foster care turned out the one that worked out best for me in, in my lifestyle, so I thought that was great. Um, the other thing is, I nice thing about foster care is I really got to choose like the age range of the kid. And so that age range between five and nine are super active. So I feel like I'm always getting a workout with when I'm hanging out with my son. Uh, as you know, we are very active together. We're always riding bikes together. Uh, we're doing Taekwondo, which we've taken a break from. We uh, play are playing outside, basketball, walking the dog, running the dog, rollerblades. He does hockey now. Uh, he's actually a much better skater than I am now, and it's kind of embarrassing. But we're always trying to find new things. For my celebration for my five years, I bought myself a skateboard, so I might die from just trying to learn how to skateboard for the first time. But uh, either way, we're having fun and you know getting out there and, and having that exercise. So take advantage of that as well. Um, so the other thing about having that heart attack is that I had to change what I was doing for work because I was working, I was traveling for work, so I would be working 14 hours a day some days. Uh, typically it would be more like between 10 and 12, but there's been days where I've been working up to 14 hours and it really didn't make a difference. So, uh, I talked to my boss and they said, okay, go ahead and, you know, we'll do this. You can work from home and I'm actually more productive at home cause I'm not traveling. So I lose all that travel time. 
when you're in an office, there's a lot of chit chat and there's not much of that. So when I'm focused, I got a laser focus. It's, it's amazing. So having that work life balance definitely helps and having a son helps me go, look, I know I can finish this up, but I would much rather be hanging out with him and doing something fun. So the last reason why I wanted to bring this up is because a lot of people say, give reasons why they can't do something. Uh, I mean, having a bad ticker at age of 40 sounded really bad. And, you know, working with a kid and with the stress that comes with it, it's a little scary. But if I can do it, anyone can do it. So don't let those types of things slow you down or stop you. You can do this. Uh, and just keep that positive mentality. Other than that, uh, if you want, check out our, our other channel where it's me and my son just being silly and goofy. I'll leave a link for it up there. And thumbs up, uh, comment if you would like, especially if there's something you want, would like to know about from my experience. And uh, if you can, subscribe. I'd love to have you. So other, I hope you guys have an amazing day. I'm going to go celebrate. I'm going to go have some cake. Ah. So, thank you.